So, hey Axel, which which state has the most streets here in the U.S.? That'll be Rhode Island. Hey, hey, senor, yeah, senor. Uh, today I'm gonna bring you a little special. I haven't uploaded something like this in the YouTube channel just yet. But uh, today I'm doing a photo shoot for uh, Camp Baba over here in Houston, in the Houston Greater Heights. Sorry, I'm a bit sweaty because I was messing around with flashes and moving around a lot, so. But yeah, and of course, I just brought Axel here. Uh, actually, tr the trainer, Lindsay was training him. But just look at him, look at that face and everything. But yeah, today we're gonna do a photo shoot here with uh, pretty much as many dogs as we can in one day and then we have two more days to do it and everything uh, and also the most of the lens that i'm going to be using i'm not going to be switching too many lenses it's going to be the tamron 28 275 uh, millimeter for the sony uh, bodies and also today i also was able to purchase another flash uh, the westcard fj 400 so not only is it going to be easy for me to get better lighting, um, it's just going to be much easier to take pictures of the dogs that love to move around and everything. As you'll see in the, these pictures, the before and afters, and also I can show you some pictures before, how it was so hard to get uh, lighting in all angles with uh, with a single dog that was moving around a lot. But with, the, with this setup and everything, it should be a lot easier and everything. But yeah, let's get started. Right here we have Chloe, a schnauzer mix, and as you can see, he, she has uh, an adorable backpack. So we're just setting her up right now, and for the most part, the autofocus was able to get her face and the eyes. And as you can see with the photos here, they came out pretty good, pretty sharp, um, and she seemed happy about it.
And now we have Sunny. And as you can see, the autofocus just catches the eye pretty quickly. And for the most part, it is pretty sharp on the eyes, on the face. And this Tamron lens is pretty good for these type of doggo photo shoots. So you have to keep a distance just in case the doggo doesn't like the, um, the camera noises or the, the strobes. But for the most part, it went pretty well. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in a bit. Enjoy. Well, that is pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys, like I mentioned earlier, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns in regards of how to, of using um, the Tamron lens or a Sony camera, digital uh, mirrorless for a dog of photo shoots, feel free to give me some comments on down below. And of course, it I would greatly appreciate it if you guys can like and share and subscribe to my channel, support this channel, so I can give you more details of how I do these doggo photo shoots. Well, that is pretty much it for today. So I will see you guys later. Bye.